Hi, and welcome to another Codingville onboarding video. I'm going to be taking you through the mission today and looking at the features that are offered. So I am currently in the second journey from coding blocks to JavaScript, and I just wanted to show you kind of what the game looks like. So here you can see the mission itself and the instructions of what the purpose of the mission is. On the left hand side here, I have all the code block options. I have my loops, my sequencing steps and movements, some user interactions with color sensors, my Boolean operator, conditionals, and functions. As a teacher, my settings menu has a reset button show model answer, save my code, load that saved code, and then sound adjustments. To play the mission, all I have to do is drag and drop the selected code that is needed. So for example, I'm going to use a loop block, drag that in, and I'm gonna change the number from 10 times to three times repeated. Inside, I'm just gonna drag some sequence movements. So I'm gonna have to rotate right, and all you have to do is connect the block pieces together. Let's add some more movement. Now let's say if I'm having trouble as a student, I can go into my settings, I can save my progress, And then I can continue building out and if I don't like what I'm building I can always reset to get rid of it, load what I had previously saved and it brings me back to where I was most confident with my answer. Now a great feature that the teacher has if you're helping a student and need a quick answer is show model answer. So this will take over your screen and provide the model answer for how to complete this mission. As you can see, this mission uses loops, is your sequences of steps, and a function. This color block represented by this set of movements. The mission also has the description displayed. You can always click out of it and then get it back by clicking the description button here. Now to see the JavaScript equivalent code, all I have to do is click the show equivalent code button here. And whatever code I have on my game, I now see it written in JavaScript. Now the debug button will go through my code step by step to see if I have any errors. So let's try that out together. I'm gonna remove by just taking the block and throwing it to the side. That deletes it from my game. And now if I click the debug button, let's see what happens. I'll get a message that says that I have an error and provided with a hint to help me fix my code and retry the mission. So now that I have my completed code, I can click run if I'm confident and want to see the code run all the way through to the end. So those are the main features of our game. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to info at codingville.ca and we'd be happy to answer any questions. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.